It's not a Sunday on the Wild Demar River. But today we're heading up river. I'm on board with my boy Ravi and his crew. Today is going to be a learning experience for me and today's lesson is going to be crown baits. Yes. We are heading up river on a Pirai hunt and all we're going to be using today is crown baits. As you can see um using my warm gear and also I'll be using my Shakespeare of Mystic GX2 all rigged with 20 pound braided line 20 pound test spider wire and my crown weight of course people here in Guyana they are custom fishing with line and uh, wires and just you know a piece of beef or any kind of meat and that's how people catch piri normally here and when we talk about fishing with crankbaits they'll be like no these things don't work here in Diana I don't think it's for them for a fish <laughs> I've never caught anything on crankbaits before and I'd like to change that today look at that first fish of the day caught on a crankbait Here we go, here we go, that's my first one. One P right down. So now when customers walk into Mobile World and they come to the Wild River Tackle section, I can say, listen, let me offer you this new crankbait and I, I can tell you, I caught fish on this. I can honestly say, I caught fish on a crankbait in Linden, Guyana. Boom, look at that. Our, we weren't expecting this at all. One peacock bass caught on a crankbait in the Demoha Rift. We know the peacock bass, they move further up river a long time ago, but you know, it's evident that there's still a few lurking around these parts. But that was, that was exciting. I can't wait to hook my first peacock bass. I, can't, I just can't wait to hook that look at that. These guys, they fight, they put on a show, you know they be trashing all over the place so you know, it's, uh, it's exciting to watch but i think it's going to be even more exciting to catch one yourself so i just can't wait so far this is my second fishing trip and you know i look on you was caught our last trip uh up rockstone my son he caught a little one at the at the shore and now here this girl she caught a bigger one than that maybe a pong or a little over a pong I'm not sure what it weighs but it's a good fish I really like this fish it tastes real good uh, I, I like the the fight that it it gives I like the, the it just puts on a show man it's so exciting to be around these fish and you know watch people catch them and I don't know what it feels like to actually catch one myself but I'm hoping for that experience pretty soon. <laughs> Look at that, even the boat driver, you know, Chinese got in on the action. Yeah, well, that's a cool dude right there. He took us up river, you know, he's very nice. Uh, you know, we, 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 we talked while we fished. It appears though he does this kind of thing often where he would take people up river. You know, if they want, they can charter his boat and he would take them up river. And he will just show them some nice spots to fish. Uh, he also builds these boats and so on. And he had a ball. He just he hooked him. He hooked himself a couple of piranhas as well. Man. Yeah, this little feisty one here. He got a little too close to my toe, so I had to put on that camera to secure that fish. The next thing you know, I gotta be looking for my toe in the belly of a piranha. Fish on. I got a fish on, everybody. I got a fish on.
Rafi up front there. His boy just pulling a nice one there. And I'll let Ravi introduce himself to you guys. Maybe on our next trip. He's got a precision cast. As I can cast in any little corner with precision. Uh, there's much to learn from him. He's been around fishing for quite a while, quite a number of years. So hopefully, you know, on our next trip, I let him introduce himself to you guys. But for now, he is at Kakarali Sawmill. Uh, what used to be Kakarali Sawmill, they are now running that sawmill. So you can go there and get nice deals on all different kinds of wood. Let's ask for Ravi. Uh, this is. Basically, you know, winding down to the end of our trip. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Uh, we hope to bring more episodes of Wild River Tackle. Today was all about crankbaits and pirai or pirano, and um, I learned a lot today. So hopefully, I'll be able to share some tips with you guys when you come to the store and you come to the Wild River Tackle upstairs in the Crescent Mall at Mobile World. Please continue to share our videos, subscribe to our channel, you know, leave a like, a comment, let us know what you think. So until next time people, peace.